All right. It may not look like a lot to, oh dear, now it's starting to get late. Well, it may not look like a lot, but I'm sure that the, the, the rest of the village is really going to appreciate the fact that at least we have some fish. I, I even have an entire bean that we could go ahead and contribute. Uh, but you know what? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to contribute these flowers instead. And that's not a bad haul for the day. Plus, I came home riding on the back of an Ibex. And so far, other than, you know, the fact that Oka probably rides around on her wolves, I haven't seen anybody do that, right? Right? <laughs> Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to our adventures very, very late here with Roots of Pacha, where we are currently- Oh! How are you doing, Kessler? We are currently riding past Kessler on the back of our brand new Ibex! Uh, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to like put him away in the shed at night, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that just in case. And we're going to toss these fish onto the smoker and then hopefully, oh dear, okay. Maybe I should clear those rocks out of the way. Oh gosh, and it is so dark right now. All right, and let's go ahead. We'll smoke all of those fish. I'm sure that's not suspicious, not going to alarm anyone. Just, you know, starting a fire in the middle of the night. I mean, we have a giant bonfire keeping us safe after all. And, okay, not the best in contributions, but I'm sure that the rest of our village will understand that that's because we were very busy going out and getting our first animal that we actually get to move into the animal shed in. <gasps> okay, and okay, now that uh, calling your mount need a ride. Kroll and I added horns to the land to help you call your mount. <gasps> That's so cool! So now there might be horns around the place so that I can teach my little, like, my, my Ibex, who actually is going to have a new name now. I have slept on it, and I feel that there's just a more appropriate name for the wonders of this wonderful creature who has agreed to do what no other creature has before and allow one of our clan members, me, to go ahead and ride it. Uh, we're gonna actually go rename it in just a second, but that sounds amazing, so we'll have to go talk to her. And, oh, Kroll finished building the plant nursery, yes! Oh my gosh. <laughs> And I still need to go ahead and I need to get more stone for our adoptive grandma Marie so that we can go ahead and possibly start having festivals. And things have just been keeping us so busy. Oh my goodness. All right, at least we also have the smoked hammers and the smoked trident now. And I do think, yeah, the hammer is definitely, uh oh, did it get over smoked? Trident's that, that's been smoked for a while. You can taste the fire. I don't think I got over smoked, so I think we're okay. Phew, okay. And then let me grab my little water skin, fill up, and take care of all the plants that I have moved over here. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there's definitely plenty to keep me extremely busy and running from place to place, trying to do what I can to help to contribute and take care of our clan. And honestly, I love a life like that. I love being challenged to go ahead and just stay super busy helping and progressing and trying to make everything better for everyone. Plus it gives you something new to do every day and I really can't complain about that. All right, let's clear away some of these grasses so that I can plant even more things along here and kind of keep an eye. There we go. And keep an eye on making sure that we get some seeds into the ground because our clan's survival depends on making sure that we get plenty of food stored. See, like, doesn't that just make you feel good to wake up with purpose? I guess that's what I'm saying. It's really exciting to wake up with a sense of purpose and something to keep you happily busy. All right. Even if that is, you know, backbreaking labor of chopping down trees first thing in the morning. <laughs> But at least now that that is done, there we go. Okay. I really do want to go ahead and if we have the ability to, I want to be able to plant like quite a few of the crops that will grow hopefully through more than one season and even put down some paths because that would be really fun to make like a nice organic garden. I was thinking about maybe making it in a circle, but now that I'm looking around the place, I think it might be a lot of fun just to make our little garden sort of out of a bunch of the, um, put some beans over here. 
out of a bunch of little patches instead, kind of mimicking just a small little patch of forest that you might stumble on, a little glade in between the trees. There we go. And I probably want to go over to the plant nursery in just a second. And look who it is! It is actually our Albex. What is this? <gasps> wait, 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 wait. Generation one? Wait. As in, you can breed the animals so that they can actually have improved, like, abilities? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that solves what I'm going to be doing today. So our Albex feels that he is very well fed and we are actually going to go ahead and change his name to Jasper. It came to me in the night as I slept. There just is no other name for this beautiful spotted Albex than Jasper. It, it, it just rang around in my head as I dreamed of trotting across the open beaches with him at some point, hopefully in the soon, like, soon future okay that was a really weird way to say that but hopefully sometime soon even though we do need to go ahead and take care of looking at the plant nursery today with jasper's help we'll be able to get so much done and i never even dreamed about being able to go ahead and like breed a whole new animal so that we can make one even faster you guys i think we should go ahead and we should uh potentially go see if jasper can actually have a mate because we do have a lovely Albex that I have named Pinecone, who has actually been hanging out where we found Jasper. So we might have to work on that in just a little bit too. <gasps> Look, it's Grandpa! Hey! Jen's father was a great leader, but he had a terrible sense of humor. This is so cool, what do we do here? Oh my gosh, so view seeds. <gasps> Look at this! We can actually get the seeds from Grandpa now! Oh, that's so exciting! So we can go ahead and we can plant them. Uh, we might want to focus on maybe tomato because a lot of these are spring seeds. We can get coconut saplings and we can get pomegranate saplings and date saplings. Oh my gosh, and also the pine saplings. This is so cool! I want to plant a pomegranate tree. I absolutely have to get like a pomegranate tree down because that just sounds fantastic. And then let's actually look, how long do we have left now to see what else I can grow? Grandpa, that's so cool. Oh my gosh. Um, I think we have more of spring season left. So maybe we'll go ahead and let's see. Our carrot seed knowledge is growing pretty quickly. It will grow and yield carrot only once after four days while in season. We don't know that much about beans or potatoes just yet. Quinoa as well, we need to gain a lot of knowledge about this plant. And then the tomatoes, we know a little bit about the tomatoes, but we could probably learn a lot about them if we really focused on them. But you know, let's see. Um, I feel like the potatoes have been growing fairly quickly. So let's actually maybe get six potatoes and then maybe we'll go ahead and get uh four quinoa and then uh do i really want to invest in that many tomatoes you know what mm. okay we'll get a little patch of tomatoes going oh my gosh okay and i wonder can i actually plant something right over here too just as like a little treat so i could like put one bean plant right here is that how what what is this and then, okay, I can dance over here. Maybe grandpa will just start upgrading this. That's so neat. Okay, that's a thousand percent worth it. All right, plant nursery, definitely something amazing. And I also, <gasps> carrot hop, welcome. I also noticed this horn. Your mount is already nearby. So we can actually go ahead and blow on that horn and it will bring our mount to us. That's wonderful. I am very happy about this. So, I think I can plant the pomegranate tree like right here. I hope it will grow. We're gonna go ahead and see. And then the the boulder here is in the way of where I thought to put my tomatoes. So I will ignore that. Gosh, I'm suddenly really excited. How could I not be? I'm, I mean, technically I am touched by pacha and whatnot. And like now I have the ability to go ahead and plant a bazillion and a half seeds. 
We could put the quinoa over here or the tomato. Hmm. I was kind of thinking about putting the tomatoes here, but a little patch of potatoes would be really cute as well. All right, you know what? I'm going to put a couple quinoa. And then because I live for the option of chaos, I'm going to mix my seeds. It's almost like I can I could hear like yelling of distress somewhere somewhere out there as though if if there were some entity watching over me or many entities, they would be extremely distressed about the state of uh, this field and even more distressed about the idea of mixing the seeds together. Hmm. Surely I'm just dreaming that. <laughs> but all right, let's go ahead and tidy this up. Oh, I'm probably going to be planting so many things right now just because that's just, it makes so much sense. But you know, if I'm going to be planting all of this, I think I do want to move the solar dryer down here. Let's see, is there any good place to go ahead and put these beans or these tomatoes? Hmm. You know what? Let's actually put the beans. I can hear even more yells of distress right over here. And I know it looks like chaos right now, but but just trust me. I'm sure with a little bit of TLC and a little bit of a creativity, especially considering we can go ahead and we could get a bunch of the pots from Reese. We could get even more trees from Grandpa to go ahead and decorate the area. We might be able to set this up so that it just turns into a very beautiful little section filled with all sorts of different plants and looking a little bit more natural and organic than just making our fields look super artificial and not really part of the wilderness as we know it. Let's see, and I can put tomatoes down here. Okay, that was the plan. Hmm. And I'll save a little space for tomatoes. Oh, they harvest in an unknown quantity of days, which is quite fun to see. All right. Oh, okay, so I'm actually really tired. <laughs> So, um, I think let's go, let's actually go to Tari and let's go see if we can get a little bit of our stamina back and maybe visit with some of the people because I need to water more of our plants. Oh, hey! How are you doing today, Belky? Beckley, even. All right. And I need to get Jasper a mate because if that's how things are going to be, like where I can breed my animals, we need to start working on getting like the fastest Ibex that exist. I've connected with the animals for as long as I can remember. Let's see, that's really fun to know. Making sure everyone has fresh water is pretty easy here. Also good to know. Ooh, can I eat this? Because, I mean, I'm really hungry. No? Okay, that's fine. I hope Loda decides to stay with us. She's a fun person to talk to. Aha! Well, I guess Dari's a little older than me, so I wouldn't be able to romance her. Hey, Loda, is that you? Jen does an excellent job of making sure everyone is cared for. Even a visitor like me. Voda, maybe you shouldn't be a visitor? Would you like... Uh, rose hips? Maybe? At least it's not trash. <laughs> okay, fine. Honestly, I know there's many other people in this in this clan who really appreciate those rose hips, I'll have you know. Alright, I kind of want to keep the wild bean, but I'm going to go ahead and contribute it. Since we have so much else that we really need to do... And then, let's go inside, hope that my Ibex will listen to me for two seconds, and snag ourselves some food from Tari. I really need to start asking Voda instead of Jizu to get things for me. Huh, so Jizu's not really doing anything. Got it. And then, I do think if we're going to invest so much of our energy, as one should when you are touched by Pacha and in love with plants, uh, into having a flourishing, beautiful garden that will hopefully provide much food for the clan. We probably would get even more out of it if we could go ahead and help Tari to prepare the food for the clan, literally providing life by providing food for everyone we share our home with. I like that idea. And then, Bife, a thick cut steak cooked with high heat that will slap your senses. Oh, it gives you foot speed. Oh my good word. Uh, I don't think I have that much stamina. There's also hummus, which gives you more wood yield, a savory snack that makes a delicious dip. There is, uh, let's see, stamina recovery from a chunky salad. And then there's fried eggs that gives you a sunny disposition. Oh, I think we'll go ahead and we'll get the hummus. 
Can't wait to see what you cook up. I mean, I would love to be doing some cooking too. And then let's go ahead and eat it. Yay! Hey, Nock. Another clan's leader's son is chosen to follow in his footsteps, but we haven't always followed that tradition. Uh-oh, I don't know what that means for Mana. Where does she hang out anyway? My grandma doesn't seem too happy that I'm adult. <laughs> Hang in there, fair. I wonder if those two are friends, because they're like hanging out together. Hey, Ada. Some plants may look like they're not special, but if you look closely, they'll reveal their secrets. Good, good news. I like that. Very good insight. <laughs> All right, well, speaking of plants, I do have a whole bunch of them that I planted over here before I knew any better. To be honest, I guess I could just go ahead and think of this as my tomato fields. Oh! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Tomatoes! It's like tomato time! I am the queen of tomatoes! Yes! All right, but certainly going to go ahead and hopefully help Grandpa increase his knowledge of tomatoes. And maybe we'll be able to really like just drop all of these in and get a ton of contribute or a ton of contributions today. Let's see. We'll go down here. I hope there's enough grass over here, so if we really had to worry about feeding Jasper, we could. Ah, and Jasper's story, my friends. Yay, we even got some wild potatoes! Okay, hold on. I think I need oh grandma, 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 grandma! I think I think I have enough I have enough stone! Yes! I'll observe Quiro for a few days and let his rays warm my cheeks. Yay! All right, so Mari is going to start working on the idea of a sundial. And do we have, if we had butternut squash or chili or any fruit, we'd have wild tomatoes. All right, let's move this solar dryer over to our house. Because as much as I want to go and I want to get Jasper his mate like now, this is extremely exciting because if I can go ahead, ooh, are there tomato seeds over here? Nice. Jasper, you're making it so I can do so many more things. Good job. Hey, Teth. I don't like to get involved, but I think Daria should be dressing those boys warmer. <laughs> All right. I think that Teth misses taking care of younger folks. That's for sure. All right. So now that we have gotten ourselves a bazillion and a half plants, Let's go ahead and actually, let's see, you're in the way, reserved, reserved. Okay, so can I put, neat, okay. I can put the solar dryer like right outside of my home and we can try to make some dried fruit. So the wild tomatoes on their own only give nine as a useful little bit of, um, yeah, as a useful little bit of contribution. But maybe if we go ahead, and we come back and now there's four of them this is so cute i love that we're doing so much with the plants today and if i come over here then there's apparently two things any legume and any vegetable <gasps> i can go ahead and cook an unknown pachin recipe yes what have i created vegetable stew See, I can contribute to the tribe. It's worth eight. There's a very long pause as I contemplate this, but it gives you a lot of stamina. Perfect for stewing on ideas. I'm pretty sure that it gives you less contributions than just, you know, going ahead and tossing these into, <laughs> into the actual contributions. Oh no, I can't believe that. Well, now we can go ahead and we can cook um, with one tomato that are like, okay, I'm glad we can control what we what we use, but with the rest of the tomatoes. Oh, hey, I'm chopping something for the first time. I made a salad. Is it a mixed salad? Is it worth what I just, no. Each tomato was worth like nine. And I just, I, I, I smushed the tomatoes. Well, at least maybe it's going to be more helpful, potentially, as being able to go ahead and make friends or helping me have enough stamina to really get a lot done. Gosh darn it. <laughs> I was really excited and hoping that was going to like lead to amazing things, but here we are. All right, and speaking of amazing things, 
I actually want to make a little bit more room for the potatoes I want to plant. But where to do that? How about over here? Like I said, I do want to leave a lot of the trees that happen to be around uh, because, you know, they look really good. They actually help to provide shade and probably, not even joking here, probably help to prevent a lot of our plants from drying out. Kind of like the way that some people will put down mulch, but it is actually important for some plants to get plenty of shade so they don't get sunburned. However, whoops, okay, don't want to eat that. I do need to be able to see what I'm doing. So we'll move a couple trees and maybe we can even talk to grandpa. So if the trees we do have growing in our field might be fruit bearing ones, making a nice little sort of multiple, hmm, like permaculture sort of area where we're using more than one type of plant. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. Look, I'm recreating a forest. I, I could try to get into the sciences. I could try to go ahead and make excuses and say, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm totally doing this for the sake of, um, you know, being really smart and efficient. And the truth of it is, I just love trees. <laughs> so you know what? I'm, I'm gonna stop lying to all of us. And I'm just going to admit, I just love plants. I just love trees. They make me happy. I'll cut down a few of them as necessary. But for the most part, I'm just really happy to be able to like go ahead and put down some potatoes. All right, this is probably going to be a huge responsibility to take care of. And considering the fact that cooking it actually didn't do what I thought, uh, it may be a little harder to uh, go ahead and earn all the contributions I thought it was worth. But you know what? Uh, what do I need to make a well? Let's double check. Oh, I can actually make another water well. Let's do that. Me. Wait, did I craft it? There we go. All right. And oh, this is actually really cute. I like this a lot. Cause we can go ahead and we can have like a cute little ponds and we can get the pots to go ahead and decorate. And we can even go and craft ourselves up, hopefully. Well, not a torch at the moment, uh, but we could craft up a stone floor if we wanted or a wooden floor or just dirt. You know what? A dirt floor might actually be good for us just to start. Oh my good word. Okay. Um. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. How about we just start with like 25 dirt floor? And then. All right, all right. <gasps> it's so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm very happy about this <laughs> to be completely honest. And yes, I'm going to make it like absolute like chaos by putting it down in sort of like a natural little windy path. I am one with the forest. And so of course I'm going to make it kind of just organic and wild. Following my own whims, kind of like how forests grow. All right, we should water these guys. Uh, and I'm out of stamina. I just need just one more one more okay oh my gosh um do i oh but it's almost time for bed uh, but we can't leave this undone okay we're gonna go ahead and get a little more stamina i'm so sorry jasper i know i was supposed to go ahead and i was supposed to like help you find your mate today so that we could go ahead and apparently start working on on breeding our ibex to make a really really fast ibex but instead we ended up doing a whole bunch of work in the fields and to be honest, I can't even complain about it because I really love the little forest we made. It's so cute. <laughs> oh, that's actually extremely satisfying. I'm quite happy. And with the rest of the clan wondering why on earth they still hear the sound of rocks breaking somewhere in the distance, I'll go ahead and leave you guys here as we get ready for another day next time. Hopefully not as quite as focused on plants. And maybe we will be able to go and we will get our Ibex, his mate who we left in the forest, and then go and finally explore the beach, which I have left for far too long. There's probably so much we could go down there and discover. But all right, so thank you guys so much for joining me on this very silly, chaotic adventure. If you guys would like to uh, join us on this and literally thousands more chaotic, silly adventures, then do please consider subscribing. <gasps> the wild sun-dried tomatoes are done! 
uh, we're 13. Okay, okay. That's definitely worth a little bit more than what we put in. Just by a bit. Totally worth the effort. I'm sure. <laughs> But if you would like to continue watching over our clan, you know how to do that, friends. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye